Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Dagner Robot Trigger Happy Havoc Blind. This is your host, Damiel SC, and we're about to take a mixed bath. Or we're actually going to talk to a computer, but according to our official stories, we're about to take a mixed bath. I'm kind of surprised that Malakuma didn't actually say anything about that, to be quite honest, but let's find out what Alter Ego has to say. See if we're going to crack open the case any. When I got to the dressing room... Toko was sitting alone on the bench, a laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here with Alter Ego had to say too? What's your problem? Uh, I already heard it with Master. <laughs> with Master. <sighs> what are you saying? Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? Then get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Well. N no. I made Master a promise. Mm. A promise? My master told me to w wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? Yeah, this is like a com Wow! I never figured that Toko's personality would go this way. <laughs> if it's one master, what? I'll do anything he asks. You really need to find some friends, lady. Mm. You just love being mistreated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fine, if you really want me gone, by uh, all means. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, good, I'm glad you're here, Genocide. You're way more interesting than the other one. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> uh, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. What? What? First, I'm begging Mask is now a super sadist. Ogre, can you move her? Ogre. Well. She's essentially our opponent right now. Should I trust her to keep a word even if we did do what we asked? So move her. Fine, I'll do it. Um, Togo, serious? I'm asking you nicely, just let us use the laptop. What? You Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto, just give her the old one two combo. Just drop your knees and beseech. Why are you acting like you're not a part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down to in front of her and I said, Please. Dude, Makoto, have you forgotten that she, like, kills people that are kind of sissy win? Like, that's who she goes for. I would not freaking do that. Please, I'm begging. Will you please let us use the laptop? Oh, I'm on fire. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. So, even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. Everyone, come closer. I already told Bayakuya, but I was failing to crap up, well, crack open all the files that were on the laptop. It's hard to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um... Uh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resetting the, the keyboard, my hands have been to shake. Just a second. Move. Single word, but I a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. I'm still mad that the game forced me not to tell her and is now punishing me for not telling her. Here we go. Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particular important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students at Hope Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. Well, we already knew that. That's what they told us. That was the stated goal. Okay, good. I was like, please tell me this is not the great reveal. We already knew that. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. Since we're intent to live out the rest of their life. We, we already knew that, too. That's... I see. That's exact... Yes, they told us that already. Come on, guys. Hey. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... Not other than the administrators of Hope Speak themselves. So does this... Actually, wait. Does this mean that the original plan was quite literally just to have uh, the smartest people in the world sequestered in order to work for the rest of their lives and just see what we could create. And this whole, like, thing about um, trying to get us to kill each other is just Monokuma, like, twisting the plan. Huh? What, what, wait, hold on. They're, they're, the reason we were in prison here? Wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. 
It seems the reason I devised this plan was because of what happened a year ago. This is how they described that event. So it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That doesn't sound like something that would be said by school administrators. That feels like something... I mean, that feels like what a kid would say about it. Oh my gosh, it was the most biggest, most awful, most tragic event ever! Ever! What, what does that mean, though? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise, notice the tragedy. Apparently some sort of de devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Most yeah. Academy is forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. But yet, it's still... Um, indicates that... It closed down, and they advised the school of what abducting all the smartest kids in the country? Because they, they closed down a year ago because of the tragedy, but yet they still made this plan a year ago, right? I see. So things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is that one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. Whatever it was, it forced Hope Peace Academy to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. I just question the students here. They live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope Seeker Ministries want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. What could this tragic event have possibly been? And what could it have been that it didn't actually get out is my big question. I want to say, was there a murder on school grounds or something? Sorry. I don't know. That information was ever on this computer. It's gone now. I'm totally... No, you're not, Alter Ego. You're like the most useful person, even if most of what you're telling us is stuff we already knew. And that's all he said. What? What? This is really the end? We're halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. No. There is one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. Well, it has to do with the Mastermind. Th the Mastermind? No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. One of these Hope Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope Peak's headmaster. Well, that's not really surprising. If it was made by the committee, the headmaster would have to be involved in it. So, that same person may well be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. Seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. I wonder if he's the guy that attacked me in the mask. mask. I wonder if that's not actually the 16th student like I thought it was. The headmaster? The headmaster is here in the school? Okay. That's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monica has been calling himself the headmaster all along, right? Which means the next real headmaster that was more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? So, um... Oh, Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. Kyoko, what's going on with you? Why do you have to find the head... It's, this has something to do with what she, the headmaster did to her body that we don't quite know. When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then... We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. Sorry. Sorry, that's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. Then it really is all over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems. Well, then let her talk instead of interrupting her. Jesus. So, um. It's kind of a different talk, but I was wondering about uh... something. I haven't seen Celeste Tefumi or Taka since yesterday. They are all dead. Kyoko has such correct typing. I like it. Huh? Wow, she looks surprised. I, I kind of figured she would be... Oh, okay. Um... I, see, I certainly knew that was a possibility. Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well, I guess that's it. That's it? A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. 
You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. Your computer program don't really need to rest, but I guess... I mean, you can stay in here and we can hang out. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, leave the laptop in your sleep mode. I see. So Altogio did hit everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... What? I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us. Hmm. I mean, yeah, he did, but that's what computers are designed to do. You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? I do. I always hug my computer before I shut it down. Hmm. Well, no. We're talking about alter ego. I, I guess I just don't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Come on, it's just a pro. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? But you know, th what's the difference between us and the program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human. I know that he's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different than us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> There's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more the merrier, right? How about that? Check it out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... So, anyway... What? What? Don't so anyway me. That was like totally smart and cool thing I quoted from. I don't remember where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do. As such, the role his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? Just a second. Frankly, I question the ease which you decide who isn't your friend. Oh, God damn it! Again, her reaction makes total sense from her character. I'm just... If it hadn't given me the option not to talk to her, I would have totally been fine with this. But the fact that it did, and the fact that it refused to accept what I wanted to do, it's just... It's, it's like the game is spitting in my face right now. I'm sorry. Ah. You, you're you mean to me, and you won't be my friend. I'm fucking well if the game would let me. Do you really mean that? Wait. This story's gotten off track. We should go over what Ultra Ego said one more time. Um, yeah, good idea. What was the Hope Speak staff, Hope Speak, Hope Speak staff thinking? What, what, what? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that hope over eight, one year ago. Well, yeah, this is the biggest, most awful, most hopeless thing in human history, right? Must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um, I don't remember anything happening that could just be scrubbed that way to you guys. Of course not. It'd be way too easy if we could. <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Nothing comes to mind. Anyway... The event could lead to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least... Nothing else. It must have some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. Yeah, but again, we would have heard about that. However... And a catastrophe would all blow the news. At least one of us would remember it. Could it be... Then maybe they covered it up. That explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Only covering something like that would be, I suppose, it's not entirely impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like this. Anyway. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. So. We have to find the headmaster of Hope Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. I'm using our hands on him. I think. Kyoko. She said headmaster. I got that feeling again. Well. But even that's a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. So our business is done here. Now we should get out of here. Uh, um... uh, oh yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I. Uh -huh. Huh? Is it really that dusk? Wait, I mean. Oh, oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not. Guard... <laughs> My kid is gonna be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. But as they left the dressing room, something was, uh, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pounding away. It's pounding with anger. 
You're not still mad about the whole breaking the headmaster zoom thing, are you? Mm. Oh, that doesn't matter even a little. I'm just a little jealous of you guys enjoying an innocent mixed bath, a decent mixed bath. But I guess that doesn't matter either. Mm. It's building. I feel it building. Now I'm My head's about to boil with rage. Please. Don't get so angry. Here, let me center your chakra. It's on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, do it. I do it right back. What do we do to you? Eye for eye, fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? <laughs> Be careful, he just chanted the incant incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the dining hall will be open. Okay then. Sweet. Nothing new there. Correct. So it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? So that's what the one who says it's our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um. I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, it's time for bed. Which part of what would like to feel anxious the rest of the night? Yeah, what is he talking about? No one did anything to Monokuma. So I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What did we learn from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind? The Ministries of Hope's Peak had planned for all this. They be because of the tragedy which had happened a year ago. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. So yeah, what, whatever it was, caused Hope Street to shut down. So it was some sort of scandal. But then, how would they still? They do they use the prestige of the school in order to lure us here and then gas us or something? And they're they're trying to make. What must have happened? Here's my guess. That what must have happened is based on some information. Or be, the people that went to Hope Speak were not actually. It, it, there was some sort of revelation that they weren't actually benefiting much from the school. That the Hope Speak was getting all the really gifted people and skating by on the fact they were really gifted. So, in order to make Hope Speak seem relevant again, they concocted this idea in order to have us sequestered here so that we could create amazing, amazing, amazing thing. Um, and basically make the school seem relevant again. But then Monokuma, or the Headmaster, twisted it and just made it into this, you know, life-or-death Jeopardy game. Because he's definitely pushing on us to kill each other, which wasn't the original idea. All these mysteries make me worried. But I still have time to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a bit about where I was before I became a bear. At first, I was a total loss. I had no idea what I should do to become. Lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push off this off forever. It's a really incredible offer. So she laid out all the details. It turned out I wasn't really a tiger prawn like I hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. It's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I'm like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. The lady then started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prod on our budget? So the decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. What? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready. Yep. I don't know why I let the first part play out, but I did. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Nothing new here.
Why are there coins in my trash can? Weird. And as always, flip around. Flippity woo, see if there's anyone out in the hallway I can talk to. Flippity woo is totally a word, guys. I don't care what you say. Nope, no one out here. Well, how many days have gone by? I want to say it's probably like two and a half weeks now. It's the first thing I, the first thing I saw was her. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? What, you think guys will rush just by looking at me? What Fine, the they heck? don't look at me. I think you're just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Mm -hmm. Indeed. It's been quite a while since you joined us. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> My guy said he, he, he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm, I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down in my stomach. I'm just gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose! Enough. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Yoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. L later? You know? You know, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Mm. I know she said I said I wanted to show some backbone, but you didn't show her that much. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirt president of Dirty and Dirtlandia. What? I didn't even do anything except like not rat on one friend to another one. You don't understand. You only takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. What Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your fi filthy mouth like that all morning. Huh? Filthy me? <laughs> don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. <laughs> it's no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Shut up. You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Oh. Hey, not, I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. <laughs> your midnight sex, sex tracular activities only put me in even more danger. Please. What is what? What is this? actually something to this? Is she having sex tracular activities? <laughs> You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk top. What, what is she even? What? Going for all the extra credit. Your screams are like the secret screech of a violated blackboard. And, and, it's, it's a indecent ideas are coming to me one after another. Bastard! Would you rather a black eye on the left or the right? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, come on. And let's leave Togo alone. She gets a little funny from all her pent up frustration. You know? Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Y yeah, I know. Of course, I want things to get better as soon as possible. But everything's been going on. I haven't got a chance to talk to her about what I saw. For anything, I have to talk to Sakura about it. Still, no way. Won't just let me tell her. <laughs> if you want to hit some, please hit Master. Please hit him. Oh, please let me watch you hit him. Interesting. Uh, um, Sakura. What is it? Can you make some time? I was hoping I could talk to you. Oh, now that Kyoko's done some of trying to win Sakura's heart. <laughs> uh, are you in heat, Makoto? I don't care who they are, as long as they got the right equipment. Just Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's trying to run into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Well, I'll talk, wait until tomorrow. I'll have to get some rest today. Uh, For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. Just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... Must be because of the battle. Um... But isn't it pretty bad if you have to go rest? Are, are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a problem shakes and some sleep will get me right back on my feet. You got it! That's true! Protein is good for all kinds of stuff! Hey! You guys, like, worship protein. It's like your god or something? Okay. Oh my god, I don't know what you want to talk to Sakura about. But save it until tomorrow. She's in pain. No, we can't. Y yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. You know? Well, for now, let's eat. Mm. Eat? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Huh? Huh? How come? What's 
Because I don't eat, usually eat in front of other people. Since I was a kid, I eat, eat by myself. What the heck? What about your family? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, you still have my dad. My mom and my, my mom. Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how things were. That's, that's a serious issue. Uh. Just let it go. You actually want trouble getting involved in her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me that d disgusting mouth? Why is she so hung up on Hina? Holy crap. Oh. Or not Hina. Owie. So stop saying stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I don't know. If I don't, Kiko will never show up. Mm. Pretty miserable situation, man. A lot of courtesy and face face with the current accuser or something. Okay. Well, I definitely know who I'm. There are three people I want to hang out with now. There are three people I really care about. Sakura is not one of them. So I go by who I find first. And I found her first. Because I'm really interested in her, um, by Akuya and. So they're actually all there. Oh my wow, gosh, they're in the office together. Definitely not going there. But like I said, I found her first. She, are, she is the three people. She is the three. Wow, I am so good at English, you guys. She's one of the three people that I really want to make sure I spend time with every, as long as they're still alive. They're, she, those three are the three stories I'm most interested in now that I've hung out with everyone. There you are. Anyway. I'm busy. I don't have time to waste. God damn it! I, it makes sense you'd say that, but still. God damn it. What? What's the matter? Thinking you might like to kill? <laughs> well, choose wily. wisely. In, and wily. In this game, loss means nothing less than death. That's fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Yes. I wonder if I can keep giving him the same present over and over again, because I know for a fact he freaking loves... Is it? That. I see. Wait, what? Interesting. I think I'll keep it. I. Th he like freaking absolutely adored that last time. That is bizarre. So, in other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny. Pro Progeny is one of, one of only of one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Huh, is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true, and will take us to even greater heights. It's expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. My confidence is justified, I assure you. Come from the battles I fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I'm personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Tagami family assets. H how the heck did you make that much money? In other words, the stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on the market trends, all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone simple minded as you has heard of this technique? So you buy and sell stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day? I think that's called... Day trading? You're, you're talking about day trading, right? You're able to make four billion dollars doing that's it? That's right. Well, I first started to do it just to get myself occupied. Before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. I, I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schools even allowed to buy stocks and Don't stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm by a Kuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. 
$4 billion is nothing for the Takami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of a not modern day nobility. You know, Bayakuya? I wish I'd call you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It's too simple. So I got bored of it pretty quickly. Gee, you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. I mean, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Still reading for Bakuya's story, I went back to my room. Okay, so since... Kyoko won't hang out with me. I guess that means I should be hanging out with... I just hung out... Yeah, her. And I already know exactly what she wants. She wants donut. Well, I could probably also get away with giving her an emperor's thong. <laughs> Every person has to do their job. Cooperation of each player player is true teamwork. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player, Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing, cooperate so we can survive. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to release some of the stress? I like you, Makoto. I mean, not like, like, like. Not that kind of like. Is something wrong? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in it. I can't do any sports. I can't do any... I'm sick of it. I want to get under the sun and do some laps and run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. He not calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. I can't move around. I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard di rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever, I want to die if I can't do some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? I think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why should I have joined six sport teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, baseball, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. Um, she's the ultimate swimmer. Your main sport is swimming, right? Mm. Yeah, you got it. I don't even know what a stroke care what stroke is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well. If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. Because I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know. It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you've got. It's the excitement, the fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But but you finally reach that goal. It's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know. I never really got in sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. I could tell the reason that Hina was so, so amazing was how far she, hard she could fight and struggle. Um, so that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about a gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means some super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? You have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Uh, excuses? Just a second. Hey, would I ever make any excuses? Well, sure, maybe we're stuck in right now with no way out. If you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you be trying to see what you can do in here? Oh. Th that's a ch You made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. When I get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. If I want to become a genuine genius of effort, I bet I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Okay. okay, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I'm, I'm going to do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe a thousand or something. Awesome. More skill points. I need skills, though. Alright, and with that, we'll go ahead and end this episode. I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow morning, the confrontation with Sakura, and hopefully the making up with Kyoko for something that you, the game forced me to do. Yar. See you next time. <laughs>